everybody. Welcome back to the show. It is always great to catch up with our next guest. Absolutely. We've seen him in many roles over our years doing television as an actor, as a writer, as a producer, and as a filmmaker. And now he's got his very own school of hard knocks. It's uh, <laughs> to teach people how to be stunt professionals, something he knows a lot about. Peter Kent joining us Hello. right now. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Again. Yeah, nice Hello. to see you, man. This is my fifth time back on your yeah, show. Yeah, well, last time we saw you was uh, just before or just after your twins were born. The day after. The day after. Yeah. So Thank I, you for showing up. I came from St. Paul's, by the way, uh, <laughs> from sleeping on a crappy little hammock thing that they had for me uh, and came down here looking like a That's here. dedication. Now, we just want to remind people uh, your background in uh, the stunt world, mm -hmm. in the film world. Maybe you can just uh, give the folks a little bit of an idea. Uh, never done it before. <laughs> no, actually, I, I doubled Arnold for, uh, for 15 years. I did 14 films with him. Um, and then I work as an actor, stuntman, producer, screenwriter, yeah. director, whatever. And I, I like the motivation of you starting this school. Uh, part of it was that you didn't have any formal training when you became Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, stuntman. They just said, hey, you look like Arnold, can you do stunts? And your answer was? I lied. I said, sure, I can do it. Because, wow. because <laughs> Absolutely. I, I was afraid I would lose the job anyway, right? So I thought, well, I'll just lie my way into this, not knowing really what was in store for me. And uh, of course, then you know they start looking at you on the set, going, "This this kid doesn't know what he's yeah. doing." So how did you learn? Did did guys just sort of take mercy on you and start? I had an athletic yourself? background to begin with, but yeah, basically, then the stunt coordinator came to me finally and just you know the trump was up, and he said, "You know, look, you know, we know that you have no experience in this," uh, and instead of kicking me out, basically just took me under his wing and trained me, as did several other subsequent uh, coordinators on other shows like Commando. God bless those guys because I would never have had a career if not for them. Well, and I think it's a blessing that you do look uh, so much like Arnold to get that opportunity to work on Schwarzenegger films. When it comes to stunts and that sort of thing, I mean, Epic. that mm. really is at the top. Yeah. Did you find yourself in any situations where you were freaking out a little bit about the lack of experience at the time? Um, yeah, well, yes and no. I mean, I, I'm always good at bluffing my way through it anyway, no matter what. You got to um, A born you know, actor, right? Yeah, you yeah. You just, have, you just got to keep this going. No matter what's going on in here, keep this going. But, uh, you know, like I did a wire drop in, in Last Action Hero, 18 stories down the side of the building, and it's free fall for 15 to 16 of those. And, and there's no airbag when you do a wire drop because that's the idea. They want to look over your shoulder and see the concrete coming up at you. And so it's really unnerving. Because even, <laughs> even though you could pull a car with this cable, and you know that, yeah. but if anything happens to that, that cable, cable, there is absolutely nothing between you and that pavement. Uh, and, and what a gift you're giving back. When did you start the uh, Peter Kent's, uh, the whole school thing and, and the education uh, A good friend of mine, and I'd had the idea in my head, and then my friend, uh, my friend Dale Floyd and my other partner, John Funk, we sat down one day and we said, you know, there's a need for this because a lot of younger people can't get in. It's yeah. kind of a closed community. And you, no one's going to bring you in unless you've had the experience. And where are you going to get that? So there's the double catch, right? Yeah, like, yeah. how do you get in there? And, and so we just decided, well, let's do this and let's bring some young guys in. And, and we get people that come in that have no real desire to be stunt people anyway. They just might want to come in and do it for a life experience. Well, also, I mean, just broadening your experience as an actor, if you can really say that you can do stunts, I mean, you might get a gig that you wouldn't have been up for, for before. Sure. Or at least that you're comfortable, you know, when the stunts are going well, on. Well, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of work now for actor stunt people, quote unquote. You know, a guy that can take a fall and deliver the line at the same time. You know, go ouch and make it look good. Yeah. <laughs> and, and um, yeah, there's a lot of call for that now. Okay, tell us about the School of Hard Knocks. Uh, take yeah, us through what will happen for a student, somebody who signs up. Okay, we bring, we bring you in. Um, we first kind of, we have a question and answer period just to kind of check your aptitude and, and make sure that you're mentally sound, although most stunt people aren't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Speaking <laughs> from experience. You want the right kind of crazy. <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right. No bad crazy. Uh, and then um, we have a gymnastic session, which is to start things off. And that's just to test people people's air sense and get an idea, like what you'll see here. Uh, and we like to just get a feel for how people react in the air and how they react with their bodies right. and all of that. Uh, and that kind of determines how much we really need to take you under our wing personally. We try to keep it one-on-one -on -one and we don't bring in much more than 10 students at a time yeah. so that we can do that. We can say, okay, I'm going to take this guy aside. I'm going to work with so-and-so. Well, you can see why it'd be so important. I mean, we're looking at a montage of a lot of the stuff that people can learn and they will go through, but you'd want to have it one-on-one -on -one in small classes because the focus and concentration that you need to do these sort of things and execute them is so important. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, at the end of the day, you're going out on set and you're putting your butt on the line. Mm -hmm. And I don't want people coming away from the school uh, without that experience and, and especially the knowledge of what the safety goes. I mean, as far as 
going out on the set and knowing safety details because you can be put in some bad situations and if you don't know that it's bad. Uh, explain this uh, because <laughs> at a point in the class, is this near the end of the course? <laughs> well, this is like, day one. Day <laughs> one. <laughs> this is the first hour. Yeah. He was trying to light his cigarette and uh, actually the full burn part, which is uh, the, you know, the most exciting part. And we actually, I think, have a Discovery host, Discovery Channel host coming out in this next session. Okay. And he's going to try it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, it, it's very, very intense because first you've got to pull on a set of ice cold Nomex underwear, which is a fire suit and then put on clothes that have been soaked in no char, which is to keep them from burning. And then we pour fuel onto that, which is essentially gasoline and rubber cement, and then set you on fire. So that the gasoline sticks to you, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah you want it to. And, and the gel goes on the exposed skin, on the hair, the hands, and the face. So you start off freezing cold, and that rapidly that changes. <laughs> and then you go to quite, quite warm. Um, you know, but I, as I said to you before, you know, you can run in the danger of steam burns when that, yeah. that gel is evaporating. There's so much that can happen. Yeah, and, and a lot of people for the first time get quite freaked out by it, as you can imagine. You, you know? think really, so. Peter. Yeah. You know, it <laughs> seems like a good idea. Well, it's funny you having this, because uh, of course, you know, you've had a successful career as an actor, a writer, a producer, uh, and, and that sense you sort of stepped away, at least from the really major stunt world. How much fun is it to get back in there and sort of pass that knowledge that you've gained? Oh, it, it's a blast. We have a good time, and, and that's part of it. We make sure that people have a lot of fun while they're doing this. It's not, it's not uh, you know, run by some neo-fascist group. It's a bunch of us young guys and older guys that have had a, have the experience and we just want to get out and make it fun, mm -hmm. make it enjoyable, and at the same time make sure that it's very focused and with a real eye on the safety aspect of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, we, of course, we've been mostly talking about actors, but this is for anyone to do? Anybody that wants to come in and try it. We what had, an amazing life experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've had all kinds of people. In fact, one, as you saw by the Sun article, we had a young guy that beat cancer that came out and, and his wife said the best quote ever, she said, he went from death to death defying. <laughs> and you know, and, and he's turned out to be Just a really great stunt guy. Put That's that fantastic. under the School of Hard Knocks. Peter, thank you so much. Oh, Congrats. Pleasure, if man. you want to go to the School of Hard Knocks, it is open to anyone. I'm, I want to go. We need to choreograph totally a fight scene. Come on out. Can and we? then we can light on each other on fire. We're going to do it. Okay, go to the website to find out more info. We're going to take a quick break. And when we